Greetings, Science Maximites. My name is Phil, and welcome to Science Max Experiments at Large. We're gonna be making one of the easiest and one of the hardest experiments to do. Here's what we're gonna make, a hot air balloon. And it's pretty easy to make. That's why it's one of the easiest experiments. All you need is a plastic bag, but not any plastic bag. The kind of plastic bags you get at the grocery store to put your fruit in. That kind of plastic is very thin, very light, good for hot air balloons. And you just wanna put two paper clips on the bottom of the bag to hold the bottom down. Now here's the other thing you need. You need an adult and a hairdryer. Turn the hairdryer on. Put the heat on the highest setting and the fan on the lowest setting. The air inside the bag is getting hotter, which means the molecules are moving faster and they're getting further apart, which means there's going to be less of them in the same space. Less molecules means less weight and that means it's going to be lighter. The bigger the difference in temperature between the air inside the bag and the air outside the bag, the better it's going to work. So I recommend doing this outside, actually, on a cold day. When it's been long enough, turn the hairdryer off and it will float. Ha <laughs> ha. Now it won't float very long because the air inside the bag will quickly return to its original temperature and it will no longer be any lighter than the air outside the bag. But it's definitely fun to fly for a while while it lasts. So that's what we're gonna do today on Science Max Experiments at Large. We're gonna max out the hot air balloon and make a giant hot air balloon. Yeah, I, I know what you're thinking. You're, you're thinking, Phil, they already exist. Why don't you just get a giant hot air balloon? I mean, they're big and you, no, 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 no. There's no fun in that. I wanna make one I built myself. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fly in it, but it'll still be pretty cool, I bet. I just need someone to help me. Um, Oh, I know. Michaela from the Ontario Science Center. Hopefully she's not busy. In order to build our hot air balloon, Michaela and I are taking clear garbage bags, cutting them along the seams so they end up as one thin sheet of plastic, and taping them all together with duct tape into a balloon. Okay, so that's, nice. how many bags is that? It's like 12 bags. 12, so you think that's big enough? <laughs> I think so, it's pretty big. Okay, I think we can stop there. Okay, so where's the, where's the opening again? Uh, oh, I think I it's on your side. Hope you didn't duct tape it close. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. So, so it's gonna inflate like this. Wait a minute, let's, let's, okay, let's make sure it works. <laughs> is it working? Uh, kind of. I don't know if it's <laughs> inflating. <laughs> okay, good. So it does inflate. It does hold air. Yeah. Right? So should we try it? Yeah, let's try it. Okay, so we're gonna use a hair dryer. <laughs> right? And now we wait. Uh. It's working. Kind right? of. Oh yeah. Woohoo. Okay, it's almost inflated. All right. Okay, what do you think? Yeah, let's try it. Okay, on the count of three, we'll throw it, okay? Okay. All right. One, two, three. three. <laughs> it didn't quite. Not quite. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't quite float, it's huh? It's still too heavy, Phil. I think, think? we got a couple problems. Here. The duct tape is really heavy. Yep. Also, these bags themselves are really heavy. Okay, well, if we want to fix the duct tape uh, problem, uh, we could use lighter tape. Like, what if, haha, yeah. -ha, we use um, invisible tape, or as I like to call it, science tape. Science tape. Which would be lighter than duct tape. That's a good plan. But what do we do about the bags? Have you ever seen those, you know, those dry cleaning bags? Oh, that wait, I've got work. one. I've got one here. Cool. Perfect. Aha! Yeah, perfect. Because, you know, when I get my lab coats dry clean. So let me see here. Oh yeah, this is much lighter. This is kind of the same material as the, as the grocery store fruit bags, right? I have a better feeling about this one. So lighter tape, lighter bag means a much lighter balloon. Okay, well let's try it. First I should probably take my lab coat out. 